Oba will give a listen to everything Meghan Markle said about her relationship with Queen Elizabeth II. While Meghan Markle hasn't shied away from discussing her struggles to adjust to life as a member of the royal family, she has however always had kind things to say about Queen Elizabeth II. When news broke in November 2017 that Prince Harry had proposed to Meghan after more than one year of dating, the suit Alum told the press that it was incredible to meet the monarch. When she married Harry in May 2018, the Queen lent Meghan the Queen Mary stunning diamond bandeau to wear for the new Peters. Things took a turn, however, in 2020 when the Duke and Duchess of Sussex announced their plans to stop working full-time for Queen Elizabeth. The palace addressed their decision as a series of complicated issues that would take time to walk through at the time. The Queen then confirmed that the peer would no longer receive public funding and lose their HRH royal titles as they relocated to the United States. Ari, Meghan and Harkey will always be much loved members of the family. I recognize the challenges they have experienced as a result of intense scrutiny over the last two years and support their wish for a more independent life, the Queen said in 2020, January. I want to thank them for all their dedicated work across this country, the Commonwealth and beyond, and I'm particularly proud of how Meghan has so quickly become one of the family. It is my whole family's hope that today's agreement allows them to start building a happy and peaceable new life. Ari and Meghan, who share son, Aki, and daughter, Lilibet, attended their last engagement as working members of the royal family in March 2020. The following year, they did a bombshell interview about the firm. It is hard for people to distinguish the two because it's a family business, right? So there is the family and then there is the people that are running the institution. She said on CBS in March 2021, the Queen, for example, has always been wonderful to me. During the interview, the Duke and Duchess alleged that a member of Harry's family made a comment about Archie's skin color. Harry subsequently denied that his grandmother and her husband, Prince Philip, who died in April 2021, one month after the interview, were the ones to make the remark. Harry, Meghan and their kids got special time with the Queen during summer 2022 before she died that September, bringing the little ones to London for Elizabeth's Platinum Jubilee. During the June visit, the Queen celebrated Lilibet's first birthday with the Sussexes. News broke on September 8, 2022 that Queen Elizabeth had died after more than 70 years on the throne. Harry and Meghan's Archival Foundation's website temporarily post access, only displaying a tribute to the monarch. Loving memory of Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II, 1926 to 2022. And about meeting the Queen, Meghan has this to say. There wasn't actually a huge formality the first time I met Her Majesty the Queen, Meghan said during the March 2021 tell all. I learned how to court it very quickly right in front of the house. We practiced and walked in. I practiced very quickly and went in and apparently I did a very deep courtesy and we just sat there and we chatted and it was lovely and easy and I think thank God I hadn't known a lot about the family. Thank God I hadn't researched. I would have been so in my head about all of it. About Megan's incredible respect for the Queen. Meghan first confirmed she met the monarch in R and Ari's joint engagement interview in 2017. It is incredible, I think, you know, to be able to meet her through his lens, not just with his honor and respect for her as a monarch, but the love that he has for her as his grandmother, she said. All of those layers have been so important for me so that when I met her, I had such a deep understanding and of course, incredible respect for being able to have that time with her and she's an incredible woman. The Queen's dogs approved Meghan 
After Harry noted that the Queen's corgis took to her straight away, Meghan agreed, I spent the last 33 years being back at. This one works in absolutely nothing, the Prince said before Meghan interjected, just laying on my feet during tea. It was very sweet. Meghan on her first engagement with the Queen. The Queen, for example, has always been wonderful to me. We were in the car going between engagements and she has a blanket that sits across her her knees for warmth and it was chilly and she was like Megan come on and put it over my knees as well oh, right nice. like she's always been warm and inviting and and really welcoming we had our first joint engagements together she asked me to join her and i went on the train the actress recalled during the cbs interview and we had breakfast together that morning and she gave me a beautiful gift and i just really loved being in her company and i know we were in the car yeah she gave me some beautiful pearls earrings and a matching necklace and we were in the car going between engagements and she had a blanket that sit across her, her knees for warmth and it was chilly and she was like megan come on and put it over my knees as well telling the queen about their step back I remember when you talked to us several times about this over two years, Megan said in 2021, with Ari denying that they blindsided the Queen with their decision, but even the night before, days before, with the statement coming out, I remember that conversation. The truth about Lilibet's name, the couple denied speculation that they didn't inform the Queen that they wanted to name their daughter after her nickname. The Duke spoke with his family in advance of the announcement. In fact, his grandmother was the first family member he called, the statement read. During the conversation, he shared their hope of naming their daughter Lilibet in her honor. Had she not been supportive, they would not have used the name. And to this point, I all we know about all Meghan has ever said about Queen Elizabeth II. Give the video a thumbs up if you love it and share your thoughts in the comment section. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and turn on the post notification bell because here is how you will be hit with every explosive that drops. Until the next time, infotainment is the culture steal and net explosives to the world. The Queen, for example, has always been wonderful to me. We were in the car going between engagements and she has a blanket that sits across her her knees for warmth and it was chilly and she was like, Megan, come on and put it over my knees as well. Oh, right? Nice. Like she's always been warm and inviting and, and really welcoming.